Longbridge, a big day for the little one. This is the two millionth mini in company with some of those who helped make the pint-sized people car into an international achievement. As it came off the production line, British Leyland's general manager George Turnbull and newly knighted Sir Alec Isigonis, designer of the Mini, drove it into motoring history as the first British car ever to have passed the incredible production figure. It's ten years since the first Mini came off these assembly lines. Ten years of tremendous success in both home and, more important, overseas markets. The sound of 850,000 minis buzzing around on foreign roads has been sweet music to Britain to the tune of 240 million pounds. The mini is our leading export car and looks set to uphold that reputation for a long time to come. The wheels of production keep turning and the world's motoring public are there waiting to buy each and every one as it comes off the line. The mini has proved to be one of those rare cars with a personality. Its name has become a new word in many languages. And in its many guises, it is a vehicle for the rich and the not-so-rich, owned with a pet-like affection by all. Ten years after the first Mini made its debut, it has virtually become the backbone of production at Longbridge, with a bright future still ahead. Sir Alex's creation was born with a golden spoon in its bonnet. Mini number two million proves it. So the shiny new addition to the family of minis, complete with a tough guy slogan, joined the lucrative stream of compact autos which begin their career at the factory near Birmingham. It's a career with an assured success, for the mini is one of the biggest success stories the motor trade has ever known. Certainly the high spot of British motoring history. It's been said they plan to go on making minis for another 10 years. There'll always be customers for the car with the reputation of a giant and the dimensions of a dwarf that's big enough for the whole world. <laughs>